take over the stage and uh, a very good afternoon to one and everybody. So I know you already have the uh, a good fair idea about what we are going to do today. We're going to work around setting your fitness goals. And this is not going to be a one-way workshop. I'm not going to stay here. I am basically a yoga instructor. So I'm not going to stay here and do yoga um, or just do some actions here, asking you to repeat or uh, asking you to just do some workout, get sweated out and then go back after half an hour. That's not what we are here for today, right? We are here today that together, keeping your fitness goal in mind, how can you actually set up a fitness goal which is pretty much achievable and attainable so that you can at the end of three months or at the end of six months or even a year, the question your camera on. Uh, my camera is on. I'm joined from two devices. Can you, uh, Aisha, I think I'm, am I on spotlight? Yes, yes, you are on spotlight. I was requesting yeah. others to turn on their cameras. That will be helpful. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Got it, got it. Cool, sorry. So um, we are here today to set up that fitness goals because a big problem that all of us generally have is that when New Year kicks in, January 1, we are so focused. We have 100 goals. We have so-called resolution in place. But then after that, after one week, what happens to our resolution? After two weeks, what happens to our resolution? And after one month, we will be like, ah, did I even have a resolution, right? This happens to a lot of us and we know the reasons for it. No reasons we are pointing it out right now, but then we all know our reasons for it. A big 85 to 90% is because we just maybe we blame on reasons like I don't have anything, but then definitely then what do we do want to improve right so then what is it that we can do to actually take that step aside and then go forward so we are here to figure this out together today and i want you to just be prepared with few things can you all please have one pen or a pencil and a notepad a notebook a paper anything just go grab it quickly and come back you don't need a yoga mat today. I'm just comfortable taking my classes like this. So I'm here on a yoga mat. You really don't need any of it. Just be comfortable. Go sit on a comfortable place. It could be your dining table. It could be your couch, anywhere, your work table. If you're trying to parallelly do something else, at least for the next half an hour, I would suggest or request you not to do that because I'm trying to invest this time for you, your betterment, right? So let's try and do this together. So quickly, quickly, I want you to just quickly gra go grab a pen and a paper. Because we, we are, this is going to be a workshop. And first rule of any workshop is we want the workshop to be interactive. Can I see, can I please request at least for some of you to switch on your camera if you are comfortable with it. And uh, I would love to see your face. It was great to see when, whenever Aisha had some questions, I could see the chat boxes filling up, but it would really, really, really be amazing if some of you can actually switch on your camera as well. Ah, no one is switching on. Sad. Ah, somebody is switching on. Oh yeah, wow, 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 this is great. Thanks a lot, Ravendra. Great, great. First person to switch on. I think Santosh is trying to switch on. It's his network issue or mine. I'm not seeing the face yet. Oh yeah. Santosh is there, Rajiv is here. Great, great guys, this is amazing. I hope you've already grabbed your pencil. Kostav is here, wow, Rahul is here, great. Oh, this is amazing. Now I'm love with, love with the session. Usually corporate session, I end up talking to people, switched off camera, I end up feeling like it's a webinar and not an interactive session. So this is amazing. So people who have already switched on your cam, Thank you so much, like personally, thank you so much. And I want to request you one thing. This session, the intention is you benefit out of it. And the intention is that you are able to set your goals. So any moment in the next half an hour to 45 minutes, you feel like you are not catching up. You're not getting what I'm trying to say. If I'm running too fast, I'm not being audible. I'm literally not making any sense. This time, the small duration that you're investing is your precious time, right? So the moment you feel that, I am not keeping up to what your expectations are. Feel free to please unmute yourselves or drop a message on the chat to ask me to stop. If you are unclear, if you're not able to keep up, 
but something that I'm telling, you're not understanding it. There are no wrong questions. There are no foolish questions. If there is any time you feel a need to stop me, please take all the liberty to stop me so that we work this out together. Because that's a whole intention, right? I'm a trainer. I will either which way is get paid. But the intention is not that. We want your fitness goal to be set. So quickly, I hope all of you have your pen and paper ready. And then when you are ready, whoever's on your camera, please give me a thumbs up. You have your pen and paper ready? Ah, great. Okay. So I'm looking at once in a while to this side because I have my laptop. And my screen share is happening from here. And your video is on for me on my laptop is why once in a while I'm looking here. But I'll try to keep looking forward uh, to get a starting. So now to start with the session, anything we start, we are Indians. We also have a lot of our traditional, rich cultural ways to start. So I would also love to officially initiate the session to just taking a moment. Good. So just everybody, just stop whatever you are doing. If you're fidgeting on your phones, keep it aside. If you're trying to write something down, keep it aside. If you're trying to check somebody out on the camera, stop doing that and just close your eyes. And let's take a moment for yourself. Nothing. I just want you to breathe. Just try to observe your own breathing. Try to keep your spine as straight as you can. What you do in order to keep your spine is to bring your chest up, roll your shoulders. Just relax, close your eyes and five breaths. We will do it together. Take a good deep inhale. Exhale. One more time. Take a good deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more breaths. Take a good deep inhale. Fill up your lungs. Bring your chest. Let your chest expand completely. Fill in the air. Exhale completely. And one last breath. This is going to be your biggest breath ever. Take a good deep inhalation. And exhale. Good afternoon. And now officially welcome to the session. Before we even start talking about fitness goals, okay, I, my intention is now right now is make you believe what I'm telling because randomly some person comes sit on the other side of the zoom call and try to tell you things um, uh, that you already know and try to claim that I can get you to do something, achieve some goals doesn't make sense, right? I need to prove it to you that I, uh, I need to make you believe in me. So let's, do it and let's look at it in two ways. I'm going to give you an exercise first. My intention, I need you to believe me. Second, my this is going to be my biggest intention. I want you to realize how important the session is for you and how important fitness, fitness, wellness, mindfulness, whatever you name it, how important your health is to you how important fitness is to you i just want you to make i just want to make you realize that for yourselves so we are going to do an exercise together okay very simple exercise all of us know how to breathe right we just inhale and exhale so one breath cycle is one inhalation and one exhalation this is simple this is one breath cycle right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my timer. I'm going to set my timer up for one minute. And then I'm going to ask you to breathe. What you need to do for me is while you breathe for the duration from the time I say start till the time I stay stop. Just close your eyes, continue breathing. Count the number of breath cycles that you are having. Simple, no confusions, right? You just have to count how many breath cycles you are taking in a duration of 60 seconds. That's one minute. And one breath cycle is one inhalation, 
one exhalation. I do not want you to increase the speed. I do not want you to intentionally reduce the speed. Whatever you are breathing like right now, just close your eyes. And from the moment I say start, you're going to start. Are we good? Ready? I'm going to set my timer. All of you just close your eyes. Just, just calm down and try to get into your normal pace of breathing. Just try to keep your focus. One minute, I need your undivided attention. Completely here, completely on your breathing, completely on your chest, completely on your abdomen. Just close your eyes and get ready to breathe. Few moments of normal breathing before I say start. And when I say start, you will start counting it. So just catch up to your own breath and start counting. Till the time I ask you to stop, just continue each of your breath. Okay, stop, relax, open your eyes. And in the chat box, can you type in your answers? How many breath did you have? Breath cycles did you have? Just type in your answers. Anybody? 20, Veena, thank you. Kostas, one, one, five. 50, oh, okay. You gave, literally gave me a heart attack. Parvati, 20, Bhagya, 17. Of her above, okay, 18, guy three, 11. Achin, 11, guy three, Achin, Varun, 14, 20, 12. Okay, interesting. I'm just opening my chat box here. I need more visibility. Uh, okay, Vijay, 20. Okay, that's a good number of people respond. Thank you so much for your responses. This is great. Okay, so now what I want you to try and just, I'm going to try and make some predictions, okay? So people, whoever is here, I'm just, my question is going to be you to you personally, okay? You don't have to give me the answer. If you want to type in yes or no, that's good enough. Otherwise, you don't have to feel you don't have to feel obliged to give me an answer. It's just more like I'm trying to get you to assess yourselves. Okay. Uh, few people. I'm going to name out few people. Lakshay, um, Jigyasa, Pratipati, Lakshay again, Urvashi. Just randomly picking out few names. There are a lot more names. I'm just randomly picking out a few names. So these names which I picked out right now, if you feel you're okay to give me an answer, you can type in a yes. Uh, one, okay, two things. One, are you having a little stressful day? Second question, are you generally somebody who is a little hyper, gets anxious a little too quick or uh, gets a little scared, agitated very easily, or it could be your temper, your temper, your short tempered in nature. Do you belong to any of these categories that I spoke of today? Yes, okay, somebody responded. Jigyasa, Urvashi. Others, if you're feeling okay, you can respond. Others, it's okay. I'm going to tell the next 45, 30 minutes, this is, this is a confidential space. Like we always say, what happens here is going to stay here. We don't want this going out other than your experience. The answers stay hidden. Okay? Okay, cool. So two people agree to whatever I said. Now I'm going to pick another set of people. Um, Sanket, Achin, Rinki, uh, maybe just one or two more names. Uh, Gayatri, 
somebody's name is written as ds i'm not really sure who ds is but somebody's name is written as ds okay you people one is today it could be either ways either just today is a very good calm pleasant uh, i don't have too much of work i'm relaxing i'm chilling around kind of a day for you or is it a day or you generally somebody who is calm even if literally your house is on fire you are somebody who is like oh my house is on fire which means i need to escape so you slowly just step out you do not get agitated too quick you welcome opportunity uh, struggles as opportunities you are somebody who is generally positive in nature somebody who has that slight smile always on your face are you agreeing or not agree you can respond to either ways relaxing day today generally calm yes calm day today okay oh, now i feel like my predictions are uh, getting uh, correct okay cool great so now okay now that at least my guesses with these names came correct i i'm i'm feeling like i'm getting that curiosity out of you so what i want you to point out here today with you is each single thing that you do as simple as breathing literally from the time we were that small thing called as embryo inside our mother's womb till the time whenever it is we die breathing is something that we continuously do right we literally 24/7 we are breathing and this thing which we are not even aware of how many of us even consciously breathe breathing just happens right we don't even think that i'm breathing it just happens naturally but just by you, the number of count of breath cycles you told about uh, told me which you had in a minute i am able to tell you about your personality or about your day so imagine the impact of the number of things that your body and your day to day your experiences your life your behaviors have in and around you it becomes very important for us i'm not telling we need only good habits i'm not telling every single time we need to be conscious of what we eat or what we do or how often do we work out what and i'm not telling every single time we need to be that but i'm trying to put into the point is that it's important it's it's undeniably important that fitness routines and fitness practices it could be yoga it could be going to gym it could be just going out for a morning stroll it could be you have a dog at home and you go for a walk every single day with your dog it could be as simple as that it could be you choosing to just sit somewhere and close your eyes for some minutes every single day in form of a meditation it could be anything for you it could be gardening for you it could be reading books for you it could be uh listening to radio during a uh, drive every single day fitness wellness means different to every single person we are here today to identify two things what does fitness mean to you and what are those small things that you can set up for yourselves as your fitness goals so that when we look at it from 3 day 3 weeks down the line uh 6 weeks down the line or even 3 4 months down the line you can see a a good difference in yourselves so if you are okay doing that either you switch on your camera or just unmute yourselves can i have one or two people just sharing with me about what does fitness mean to you anybody it can literally mean anybody if you really don't want to switch on your cam if you don't want to unmute then type your answer but if you can talk that would be great anybody anybody i really want the session to be interactive you will get bored if i am the only person talking fitness means lifestyle is that what you meant mona mona i love that name anybody else okay great to you fitness means lifestyle fitness is a part of life just like eating okay fitness means staying healthy okay i think i'm missing out on answers when i'm trying to read from pop up having more energy to do things yes being at the present present moment okay means falling ill less often great healthy body for a healthy mind amazing see how varied the each people's opinion are some for some people it's about food some people it's about healthy health 
in general for some people it's energy some people it's about your mind amazing some people it's about time and space it's your being living in the present moment being able to take the day well irrespective of what's coming your perspective great i'm i'm loving these answers thanks a lot for that fit to do your regular work and extra work also mm okay your company i'm ho- i hope your hr is also on this call <laughs> means stress manage stress effectively amazing answers i'm really loving this ah this is actually so encouraging for me also great so this is great so this is very clearly evident so throughout the session if you ever you don't have a need to feel that you need to be like somebody else or your goal needs to look like somebody else's goals there is no intention at all the answers you typed in right now is clear indication that for each of us fitness means different things for me also fitness is simple for me fitness is spending a day smiling actively without feeling fatigue being able to focus on anything that i do and i don't mean focusing on just on work i mean even if i'm watching a movie i want to be able to watch that movie properly without really being distracted about what's happening in the world or if i'm reading a book i want to be able to read the book and not something else for me fitness means being able to be do all of this so each of us has a different um, emotion towards fitness and that's perfect so that's really well and good so we are here today majorly discussing about two main major things setting your fitness goals and we also want to slowly try and identify what could be the challenges that each of you face because like i always like i said at the starting of the session all of us especially during a uh, new year we end up creating and obviously in every new year resolution one resolution is all based about fitness most of us 90% of the time uh so definitely we are all aware about how we create goals uh, how we set up resolutions and goals but we somehow fail to continue with that what are the challenges again i need your help in this i need your answers to this what are the major challenges that you face which forces you to stop pursuing your fitness goal fitness goal mental mental wellness goal mindfulness goal wellness goal this is fitness as a general term so let's keep this in general and tell me about your challenges let's see during the session today if you are able to find in some uh, ways to tackle those uh, challenges also getting okay i'm going to open my chat ah getting up early in the morning high five who's that mona i love your answer this is my biggest problem uh, difficult to be consistent mm, i empathize yes uh to do acha better my answers okay difficult to be consistent lack of discipline mm, this is the biggest problem we know we have lacking discipline but we really don't feel like doing anything about it work style okay uh i can agree to that but then you might need to find a way around it but then uh, yes uh other things took up more priority yes that's how we grew up right in india when we say like when we were kids playing outside was the least of the priority whereas we knew we all know what how we played when we were kids is what building up how active we were during when we were kids is what really is building up our uh, health today but somehow we generally have a habit of keeping these things in a uh, back seat and keeping up other things in the front traveling to the gym <laughs> I, i i don't know are you living in bangalore sudhir traveling in gym becoming a problem traffic <laughs> once i take a break it's difficult to get black discipline discipline ah sudhir is in bangalore procrastination welcome to the welcome to the club mithun <laughs> too much work coming up for the day and the need to start early immediately with work and thus ignoring exercise time hmm, which means same the prioritization issue acha lots of dust to wear a mask mask is not just for covid mask is also proper nice pollution mask cool these are great answers thank you so much for your answers and then i need to proceed so let's talk about setting up some of your goals so this is going to be a very small session i am not going to explain how you set up fast smart goals because our intention today is really to actually create your fitness goal and not just understanding what smart goals are smart goals are simple i'm sure all of you belong to one or the other corporates and in either in your college days your mba any of your other 
developmental classes you definitely would have came across smart s m a r t make sure your goal is simple don't take up a huge budget it's it's as simple as saying bite what you can chew even if it is your favorite food if for me uh, okay it's a, it sounds a little contradictory when i say that pizza is my favorite food even though i am a yoga trainer people assume that fruits and salads are my favorite no pizza is my favorite food but even though pizza is my favorite food if i try putting an entire pizza into my mouth i will choke right i cannot enjoy my food so i need to always bite what i can chew so make sure whatever you are choosing your goal is always clearly defined it's simple these are simple stuff you need it to be clear even if you think about it tomorrow you shouldn't be confused so if my goal is something like every day i'm going to wake up uh, fix around these two things then i'm going to take a walk while i walk i'm going to do that then while i come back i'm going to do this then once i get back i'm going to do this i'm just complicating things firstly i won't even remember half the things i just said if i try um, uh, repeating my sentence i really cannot if my goal had been very simple as every day morning i'm going to go out for walk i don't even want to put it too complicated like i'm going to tell like i'm not even going to fix the time telling 7 am i'm going to work for, go for a walk simple i wake up within 15 minutes i'm going to step out of my house to go out for a walk as simple as that it doesn't matter i wake up at 7 it doesn't matter i wake up at 10 15 minutes after i wake up i am going to step out of my house going out for a walk simple as that so make sure the goals that you are thinking of are pretty simple can you measure your goals can you track it later because if you just randomly going to make a goal that i am going to go to gym what happens after that maybe you'll just go outside and you'll come go outside the gym and you'll come back or you will go once and you'll come up can you make your goals trackable anything either of whatever the structures of fitness goal that you're taking in give a number to it make sure you can track it if your goal is gym if um, aisha was talking about uh, the cult membership that is available with no one amazing prices 12000 in a year for cult membership is a crazy deal because even if you go beg the studio manager for a discount max to max you will get is some i think some 10 to 15% at a, at one particular center the center manager will give you that but then 12000 for a year is an amazing offer you should definitely pick that up uh, <coughs> and then when you start going what you need to do is make your goal two times in a week i'm going to go to the gym don't make it five times five times is too much like literally too much you cannot really go to gym five times a week 100 reasons will come up we are humans we will end up prioritizing something else so let's not overdo it three times if you're a beginner two times it's okay any day it could be monday tuesday this week it could be monday and friday next week but two times a week of five times a week of oh, oh, i'm sorry not five three times a week just try to fix on a number that you can play around with add in your buffers like i know for a fact weekly twice i meet my friends it this could be weekdays or weekends but i have a habit of meeting my friends in that case i know for a fact i sunday's off day obviously i'm lazy and will not even think of going to gym saturdays my some shopping or movies or something will come up so out of the five days that i have i cannot plan in for five voting i think the problem lies in not sitting there and continuing to achieve it for which various reasons i mentioned about lack of will how to overcome this yes we are going towards this so making sure it's measurable achievable make sure your goals it's not too easy for you so what what i'm trying to say here is also uh, who just texted that uh, ravi kiran i'm just trying to coming to just playing here because sometimes what also happens is that the goal that we keep for ourselves it's either not achievable or it's too complicated that after a while we lose our motivation so we so the why keeping why making sure your goal is smart is one way to ensure that your motivation to continue is always going to be there so here the third point which i'm talking about is achievable if you tell by the i am going to need a six pack and i am going to work out okay great but then getting six pack is a long term journey right so it's it's huge there it's like going to be there so can can i break it down can i make it achievable can i make it sure that weekly twice am i among my four days of gym two, two times it's going to be on my core or can i check a, take a look at like um, 
whatever core work i'm i'm doing the plank that i'm doing currently i'm only able to hold for 30 seconds can i move it to one and a half minutes in another 10 days so these are the smaller goals that we are putting in so six pack is yes that's our north star but then let's not just look about the north star because north star north star appears to be really far so in between in between i will be looking at my tummy and oh my god still not six pack it's been two months but i still don't have six packs that's demotivating me so to find that motivation break your goal down and be set it up like that right make sure your goal is realistic again in two months i need a body like tiger shroff i need a body like uh, shuddha kapoor doesn't have doesn't happen i need to really be realistic i know i cannot do that so let's be realistic and final one is being timely whatever you set your things into make sure you're accountable and then we are able to do it so this are just about smart goals now we are going to do step by step how can you build your goals but before we move to building those goals you have your paper make sure even if you don't have it yet make sure right now you have your paper and pen ready because we are going to work through these things together okay so now moving on we are going to design take your pen paper have your paper open have your pen open and we are going to do this together but before we do that i'm going to give you some examples of some very simple goals let's see some very beginner friendly goals if you have been somebody who is very active with workout then buckle up you need to level yourselves a little higher and then if your goal was here now let's take it a little higher but people who have like complete beginners who have not really been active with fitness wellness any kind of activities then here are some examples for you like i'm committing to in march i'm committing to three workouts per week i will take 8000 steps every day in the month of march every morning in march i will drink one liter of water see it's not just about gym it's not just about yoga it's not just about zumba it's not just about just one thing everything is about your fitness so even drinking water is about your fitness so don't just constrict yourself thinking that i'm talking about gym workout right now and i'm not interested in gym so this doesn't apply to me no if your interest is in mindfulness if your interest is in working on your breath then we'll create a goal together working on your breath so mind it we are going to cover all the parts of it two more examples by the end of march i will en enroll for a workout routine ah uh, uh, aisha share that link once again few more people will take up the cult membership another i will pack a nutrient rich snack so that could also be your fitness uh, routine right maybe somebody who has a habit of ordering 10 times a week from swiggy your fitness goal can literally even be five times in a week i'm going to prepare food by myself i mean this is related to your fitness come on eating out and eating inside your own hand cooked meal that's different that's that's part of your um, fitness goal so let's do it so open up your pen open up your paper and we are going to do the first step together which is using visualization to find your why <clears throat> i want you to all just relax for a moment sit up straight close your eyes you don't have to tell me the answer but you need to write the answer in form of a sentence in form of a point phrases however why why do you want to achieve something figure out what is it that you want to achieve let's take smaller durations in the end of 3 months what is it that one most important thing for you that you would like to achieve anything in and around your fitness it could be as simple as somebody who is under medication telling that in 3 months time i need to be out of that medication that is also fitness so just think of your that one goal make sure your goal is smart simple measurable achievable realistic and time bounded and then think very 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 strongly why is this goal really really important to you whoever finishes having this answer for yourselves give me a thumbs up i'm looking at the screen so whoever gives finishes giving your answer type in a thumbs up i will move on only once i get at least some pen thumbs ups either thumbs up or in chat type a yes take your time 
close your eyes remember you are doing this for yourself you are trying to better yourself you are trying to give more meaning to what your life looks like two people write it down i need you paper paper and pen worst case scenario open your whatsapp chat if you do not have a pen and book that is open your whatsapp chat find the person who you know is going to literally be behind you with a stick in case uh, you tell something that you will do and you are not following it it could be anyone your mom your wife your husband your boyfriend girlfriend your boss your fitness coach anybody type this goal to them if you have a pen and paper write down that goal in the paper i am also going to write down my goal do i have ten responses who 1 2 3 4 5 i need four more before i proceed i have my answer i don't know if somebody is interested you can try reading i don't even know if you can read i don't know if my uh, uh, this thing is going to be reversed for you <laughs> i've written down once i wake up in the morning within 10 minutes every single day i should meditate this has been my new year resolution one and a half months since new year i think out of the 45 50 days i would have meditated some 40 days it's a good enough number luckily yeah i know i'm a yoga trainer but then i rarely sit for meditations but yeah new year resolutions how many now 1 2 3 4 5 6 four more people tell me yes and i'm going to proceed to the next step others if you're still struggling to figure it out think take your time think but write it down i know you may not have a pen and paper but i 100% know you have your phone with you write it down i really need you to write it down but clearly think why do you think this goal is important to you that is the important part understand your why because unless and until you have a strong reason to think of a goal nothing matters because for me meditation is very important because i am personally going through a very tough time in my life something on the personal side something that i'm really struggling with which um, i do have uh, sometimes trouble sleeping because too much of thoughts comes into my head and for me meditation has been a blessing i've been a yoga practitioner so i know the effects of meditation but i've been a practitioner just on and off like in terms of meditation i've been an asana practitioner but then uh, new year institution i decided my sleep was getting affected really bad and i needed my sleep to be proper because i might have early classes or the day time while work i get sleepy so i didn't want any of this to happen so i decided to try meditation i follow a meditation method called as a six space meditation method it's available on the mind valley app on my instagram account i've actually put in details about the meditation uh, method also amazing meditation method and i'm really loving it i hope all of you have written it down i'm still waiting for 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 actually two more but i'm losing time okay one more thanks anurag one more one more person tell yes and i that means i get my approval to go to the next step Come on, come on, come on! One more person, help me out. I'm, I'm, I, or else I'll end up talking, sharing my personal stories. That doesn't make sense to you, right? Okay, I'm giving up. I'm gonna move to the uh, next step. So, whoever has written down your goals, thank you so much. I hope you have your why, and I hope you really are not cheating because this is important for you, and this is not for me. This is completely important for you. So, I hope you have your goal written down, and I'm moving to. So moving to the next step, break down the big goal down into smaller parts. Whatever your goal is, just try breaking into smaller part. I'll give my own example. 
the method i was telling you right i'm practicing something called as a six phase meditation method but the track that i follow the audio track it's 18 minutes 59 seconds 20 minutes closely and 20 minutes as soon as i wake up is very really long firstly i'm not used to i've been meditating only for 5 to 7 minutes so 20 minutes is really long it's tiring me out one i'm not getting that concentration for 20 minutes plus 20 minutes is really long either somebody is coming at my home or my maid comes in or something happens outside or i'm not able to find that time my phone rings it could be any reason so this was huge a problem so then i realized i'm not able to do it so what happened is i literally started stopping i'm like no i don't want to do because i cannot do 20 minutes then i realized that didn't make sense So I started. There are six phases, right? I literally started doing one phase at a time. I literally started doing just breath practices some days. Certain days that I feel like I don't have the time, I started doing for shorter duration. I literally started breaking down my goal. I knew if I say every day, it was too much. I broke my goal down into smaller pieces, thinking it's okay if I'm not able to do it every day. At least three times in a week, I'm going to make sure I'm doing the six phase meditation. Rest of the days, I may do or I may not do. So I just kind of simplified my own goal and I uh, came to it. So I think, which I thought I saw, I, I thought I saw the text. So what you need to do is, can we try? breaking up your goal so right now whatever your goal is try breaking it up into a smaller piece any time you feel like you have a question there's something in your mind that's running in please feel stop to just quickly pause and ask me that out create daily goal supporting habits whatever your goal that you have fixed for yourself is what is it that habit that can really help you out if fit your if your goal is about um eating eating very healthy food your supporting habit can be i know we all spend time browsing on instagram right follow some five nutrition related um, instagram pages so that when you're when you know that you have a habit of scrolling instagram make sure you just see these nutrition healthy food related post also on your instagram so that the goal that you are having back of the mind these things keep reminding you if you are talking about going out for a walk uh 10 minutes after you wake up make sure you set your alarm accordingly if you want to ensure that uh, evening four times in a week i want to go to gym make sure you start scheduling your office calendar in such a way that for at least these four days you leave your office exactly on time and that or if even early if you have to escape the traffic so just fix those find those small habits you can use there are n number of habit tracking apps just go to play store or app store search for habit tracking apps i'm not kidding you amazing apps are available depending upon your requirement it can be as simple as i want to quit smoking there are apps that will give you points for the days that you enter telling today i didn't smoke it's as simple as that there are a number of apps available both on app store as well as play store so try these apps out so that your motivation stays alive we give up because not because the goals are not achievable but because we lose the motivation having these uh, small habits actually helps you journaling every single day if you have our notes on every phone today we have notes that is if it's samsung you have samsung notes or from download google keep which is google's uh, note add it to your google folder just note it down if you worked out for 30 minutes today today's date 30 minutes uh, or if your goal is your plank becoming 10 minutes then every single day that you practice plank just put in your timer 30 seconds tomorrow it might be 32 you'll be like wow 32 so get these smaller smaller habits into place so that your big goal that you are having looks more achievable pleasing and you have a n number of things trying to support your support you to get it done with okay create challenging but achievable goals i put this picture here intentionally think about it this way if i say i look at some amazing person a very beautiful lady doing a full split or like this lady handstand plus a crazy pose i cannot do this i've been practicing yoga for 20 i've been training i've been teaching yoga for 4 years which means i've been practicing more than that right 
I still cannot do this. If literally I've created something so far away, it's so impossible that in between somewhere, I literally will give up. So let's not do that. Make sure, like look back onto your goal. Are you sure this is challenging? For me, wake up every single day, meditate. It is challenging, but it's still achievable because I'm not telling that I have to do only the subspace meditation, which is Nagma, you're on mute. Sorry. I think we lost you a little bit. My hand might be now. You're able to hear me, no? Yes. Ah, sorry. So um the moment you feel something is really unachievable, it's going to be a trouble. So look back onto your goal. If you feel you need to make it simpler, seven days a week workout. If you want to make it to five days a week, go ahead, do it right now. Eating healthy three times in a day may not work. Eating healthy one time a day, five days a week works out. It's achievable yet challenging because you might be literally somebody who's ordering swiggy left, right, center. So this is really a better option. So just look at it that way. Look at your own goal. That's why I needed the pen and paper. Go make that change. So I've written down as every day, wake up and within 10 minutes, meditate every day. So I'm keeping it. I've already done this, so I know my goal. So I'm just cutting this every day and just adding any meditation, not just the one that I'm, I said, six phase meditation method, which is 20 minutes long, any meditation every day. So this could even, me, just even be me one minute doing this for one minute. It could even mean that. So now my goal looks achievable for me. Now I don't have to do this handstand plus a pose and looks fancy. It's realistic for me right now. Okay. Enjoy the process. You are not going to continue irrespective of the goal being achievable, irrespective of you having a surrounding, irrespective of you have the time, you have the money to get, take the best passes available, best workout clothes, you may still not do it unless and until you enjoy the process. Find out, each of you, like you told me, your fitness means itself different to you. Find out what is your way to make this goal chasing or working for this goal more enjoyable. Little examples. Does working out with your partner help you to work out every day? Then try getting your partner together. Push your partner telling, hey, let's go together. Both of us together, we will do it. Try bringing in that. If you are somebody who practices uh, art, can you try doing it with your kid? If you have a kid at home, can you try doing it with your kid once in a while? So try to bring those kind of options so that you can enjoy it more. If you're somebody who loves social media, every single day that you uh, work out, post a selfie on Instagram story or a post, you show it off, enjoy the process. process. Just make sure you find your answer. Just look back into your goal. Think of two ways that you can make your goal more enjoyable. Think of it and just, just note it down. Just note it down right away. Think of two ways how you can make your goals enjoyable. Any, whichever your goal could be. Just two ways. We just need two ways. If it's walking, can I, I'll tell you craziest examples. To enjoy the process, I need to go for jogging. I've been checking out a guy in my neighborhood. I know he goes for jogging at 7.30 a.m. I am going to make sure I leave my house at 7.25 so that every single day I cross my path with him. That's going to be exciting for me every single day. After gym every day, I am going to treat myself with... Um, my favorite milkshake, whatever comes into my head. No sugar, of course, because I'm trying to be healthy here. So find out your answers. Write down two of yours. Give me thumbs up, at least two of you, so that I'll proceed to the final step. Thank you so much. This is great. You guys are really interactive. I love that. Fine. 
finally staying positive ups and downs missing out your workout um you may have had a target for the first week but not achieving it it's okay things every two things i understood being a yoga trainer because i get to see different and with yoga it's not just about workout it's also therapy so i get people who are shattered i get people who are uh, sick trying to come for therapy so i see a lot of these people one two things that i've learned is one every body literally your body is different some things that are very easy for some people is very difficult for some people second point i learned results are not comparable because what my results means to my body is completely different to what my mom's results meaning to her body i might be able to lose weight in 10 days the goal that i want to achieve but for my mom it might actually take two months but still she will not be able to lose that weight because her body metabolism methodology itself has changed so you cannot blame that right so stay positive understand that you are different your ways are different so irrespective even in between misses are happening it's okay if you take a break it's okay we'll start again nobody is watching nobody is trying to blame anything on you so even if you feel like you missed out two weeks you were busy personal reasons office pressure you couldn't work out after that it's okay we'll start from one again why do you have to think that oh my god i missed now i cannot start so wherever you find these breaks go back to your goal that you have written think about your why visualize it again and try to restart because that motivation comes from your why why did you first and foremost i wanted meditation because i need to start sleeping better simple so once i remember that even if i didn't meditate for two weeks i'm like oh fish i really have to start sleeping better i know my why very strongly i will start meditating simple as that so that's a six step process to being able to creating your fitness goals and i really sincerely hope people some of you have literally written these down worked your goals broken it down um made sure that your goals realigned it in case it was too high or not achievable make sure you're understanding your ways to find it make it more enjoyable and understand this it's okay stay positive results will definitely come through cool so anybody who wants to share what your fitness goals are i'll take these things together so this is what the entire process is if you have questions drop it in the chat box if you have your if you would love to share your fitness goals the final fitness goal that you have written in case only if you are okay sharing it write down your fitness goal as well i would love to go through it on the chat box if you are okay if you are not okay it's perfectly fine but if you have any questions for me please unmute yourself and then ask me the question or if you can want to drop it drop it in the chat box please do that a hey, thank you so much please feel free to drop off we are at 6 o'clock we just have one more minute so perfectly fine if you do have a question feel please feel free to go ahead ah there is a question poll that uh, poll that uh, wow 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 this poll going on you also have my contact details here if anybody feels that an open platform is a little too public to ask your clarification you can definitely feel free to push it out to me on the chat box yes uh, in case anybody has any questions please uh, drop in your questions or unmute and ask anything box i hope you can fill up fill up the poll uh, that's been running how do you like the session uh, yes any questions anything that you...
Nagma, it's a question for you. Do you take yoga classes? <laughs> I do. <laughs> you will see my Instagram message there, Instagram ID there. Drop me a message. I'll share the details with you. If you go to my website, you can directly enroll. But then I would love to talk about discounts also. So drop me a message and uh, we, I'll, ha I'll happily take you through. Uh, Instagram is mentioned on the slide. Also, as I mentioned, for you, not nice. feel free to reach out. Like in case you are really feeling, I understand if you do not want to ask a question in public, if you really want to sort it out later, reach out to Aisha. You can let Nova Benefits know, get to them. They'll happily consolidate and give me the questions in a written format or however, I'm happy to more than answer to the answer these questions and get it back to Aisha. She can pass it on. Reach out to me on my email ID, ID or website. I know that as much as possible. I'm not telling I have a hundred percent answers to everything, but as much as possible, uh, I'll try my best to go ahead. But today it's about you, your fitness goals. I hope, I really hope it was useful for you. And uh, at some point you will definitely find ways to continue your goals. And uh, definitely bug the lady who is actually the organizer today. Make sure you get your discount coupons make sure you take in as many benefits as possible so that you get that push you get that really good push to actually start something good for yourself yeah um can you give me a card on the cult and fit and what's the discount option so we have cult so for cult if you are based out in the major cities you will be able to access this you get cult elite membership and uh, you have a discounts for that so you can check out the pricing in the uh, form if you just click on that form it will take you through a page where you can see all the details fraternity pass is like the gyms that is nearby you you can uh, uh, check out which one is nearby and you can go through all the gyms that's available so you don't have to commit to one single gym there will be multiple gyms that you can access. So have put your interest form. Uh, our team will call you. You can just ask them watch as many questions as you like. Um, Personal yes, recommendations. I, think... I recommend Cult Elite Pass compared to Fraternity. I agree Fraternity is way cheaper, but Cult Studios are amazing. The classes are amazing. I don't belong to Cult. I just go there to work out once in a mile, while, uh, but the classes are really good. Like personal feedback. Yes, I second that <laughs> <laughs> as well. Fraternity is good, but the problem is that convenience. Being a lady, I was not comfortable with every gym that fraternity had. But cult, I never had that question. Going alone, no matter what, I was always comfortable. I always had that security feeling. So I had multiple concerns. Like that's how we live, right? Uh, but with cult, I was so happy that every single time I visited multiple cults, and best thing. I travel a lot. Cult lets me use any any gyms across the country. So I'm so happy. I really don't have to miss out on my any of my sessions. The personal exactly. recommendation. And I they didn't pay me anything to market cult. So it's just personal recommendation. <laughs> sure. I think we don't have any more questions, but uh yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. We have our sessions upcoming on the Friday, which is a music session. I hope you all can make it to that as well. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining. Have a great weekday and week work week. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a good, amazing thank you. day. And good luck with your fitness goals. Okay. Thank you.